Don't do me like this. I've been talking this entire time. Don't you guys hate it when you 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 reach what seven minutes in a video and you just fucking didn't record the I. Today's been a bit of a weird morning. I woke up from weird dreams uh, involving a lot of tornadoes for some reason. And they were only weird at first because my dad could actually talk and not sound like Chewbacca. But then with my own dream, I was like, hold on, hold on. This is, this is, nah, I, I'm out, I'm out. This is way too weird for me. Because at that point, a, uh, uh, a satellite from space that looked a lot like uh, the ISS, the International Space Station, lands, right, from space over my neighborhood. And uh, it looks like a satellite, but it also has like branding. Why is my dad sharpening knives at nine feet? You're not Rambo. F about a minute ago, before I had stumbled upon the fact that my mic wasn't on, he was fucking clattering pots and pans in my kitchen like he's filming Home Alone 4 in our apartment, let alone learning what, a, what the sound of a, a pan hitting a pot sounds like, slapping kitchenware and cutlery all around my kitchen. What is he doing? I'm, and I'm also very certain that we only have one knife that we actually use yet. I think he's sharpening everything, including the steak knives. This, this is driving me crazy. I don't know, you probably can't even hear this. You probably think I'm, at, I'm fucking out of my mind. So, satellite comes down from space, all right? Starts floating all over my floating over my neighborhood, and it looks like a, like a satellite. It looks like the ISS. Uh, the ISS is not a satellite; it's a space station. But somebody's probably going to try and correct me. Thank you, Bill Nye, the Neil deGrasse Tyson. It lands, and it looks it looks weird though because it has sponsors and branding, like an American NASCAR. Like it has. Clorox and it's got like Tide dissolved detergent and then it's got like a Slim Jim flown above my neighborhood where everybody has suddenly decided that was the best place to congregate. You know, everybody's running away from these tornadoes, the giant weird object in the sky. It's like War of the Worlds. But instead of running away far away, they've all decided to run away to it. And everybody's underneath it. And as everybody's around my neighborhood and it's hovering over it just starts to like a flatulent fat bumblebee just and it starts ass blasting everybody with with this weird lime green laughing ass so it's just and everybody's just lost their minds and laughing their asses off me and my parents were entering the sewers at this point, at which my dad gets a whiff of the laughing gas and starts giggling to himself. <laughs> Takes his old Polaroid camera out. And then he's like, come over here, son. Come over here. All right, look at this, look at this. And he shows me two tin cans, like, just against each other. And he's like, it's a tin can can. And just starts cracking up, belly flops on the ground, and I'm like, yeah, this is this is where poop. If I had a button, I'd press it out of my dream. It was like I took the VR headset off. I was like, this is one of those weird indie games. So I wake up, possibly because of my alarm, but I want to say I did it by myself under my own volition. I wake up and I uh, I I'm like, I mm -mm, this is some weird weird ice cream hangover fever dream. Because I will say that I think most of today is probably the outcome or the uh, effect of me eating half of a raspberry sorbet ice cream bar last night, uh, which apparently fucked me up. <laughs> so I had these weird dreams last night because I woke up with that weird, that weird sugar rush kind of sugar headache uh, this morning. I look hot and bothered. Like my eyeballs look hot and bothered. My face looks hot and bothered. I need to go out for a walk. I need to just get away from this weird state and trance I'm in. So I go outside and I'm just walking and I walk past the playground I live near and I go to the outside sidewalk of my of my neighborhood and I start to see puddles of what look like 
like spit or saliva like trails that it almost looks like a slug trail and I, that's what I thought it was at first I thought it was a slug just dragging his body just, come on gotta get to the other side of the road I thought that was a slug, just a slug trail. And then the color started to shift from like just this trail of water um, to like this pinkish reddish hue. And then the red got darker. I walked by and I see a, you know how crabs have that one big claw, which is probably the one they used to, to, to jiggle their, their crab bits. Uh, and they have the smaller claw. And the smaller claw, I see that tiny claw on the sidewalk. And for a sec, I don't live anywhere near any water, nor do I live near a Joe's Crab Shack. How did this get here? And I like, I try and look at the balconies of the apartments and I'm like, maybe somebody just whoosh, hawked a, a tomahawk, a, a crab claw, I don't know. But the trail keeps going though. It's like, it's the lobster claw and then the, the same kind of weird trail of like spit saliva blood continues. And I'm going down the sidewalk and I literally see a dead crow. It's not like the biggest crow I've ever seen. It looks like a, a teenage crow prior to this crazy discovery I've made. He was probably like, Dad, can I borrow the Mustang? I need to get to the... Fuck, I don't know. He, he, was, teen he was a teenager. He, if I looked closer, he probably would have had acne. This is okay. And I just keep walking. I just keep walking. This is weird. And I see the trail continue, but it goes into the grass. I, I'm going to find a dead deer that will lead me to a polar bear, that will lead me to a hunter, that will lead me to a beluga whale. And I do a quick lap around the, the, the sidewalk and, and start making my way back home. As I walk past this crime scene again, I start to think to myself, well, what if it was the crow... And then the crab, like the, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg, the crow, the teenage crow, or the crab, the crow or the crab. And so I started to get this idea in my head that maybe the crow had made it out to sea, right? Like, but he's, he's not a fucking seagull, but he made it out to sea and he caught this crab and it like hooked on to him and he flew all the way to my little fucking white bread suburban area. The crab was just stabbing the crap out of him. Crow goes down, falls into the grass because it's a soft landing, flutters around, dies on the sidewalk. The crab pulling himself across the, the sidewalk or hopping because it's not a continuous trail, hops over to his spot where he would die and then I guess another animal took the rest of his body but left left the claw. That's what I like to think. Is that like a Spartan, the underdog, crab one. But as I'm walking home, past all of this, past this Law & Order Seafood Edition, I go past the playground and I see a turd on the sidewalk. It's got flies on it, but uh, it's not a dog turd. It's not a dingleberry, it's not deer turds, it's not my turd, but it's a smooth turd. It almost looks like a Tootsie Roll, but that didn't smell like a Tootsie Roll. Just a smooth... My piece of advice is don't eat ice cream before bed, because you'll have a morning, like I did. Mm -hmm.